Hey guys, here's how you can get some free Black Friday chests in a Monster Legends. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so let's go and get started with the first way, which is going to be through the Relic Forge right here. You just go in and click on it, and then you see a Black Friday chest. You can just click Claim, or you will have to watch an ad if you are on mobile. But on PC, you actually don't have to watch an ad, you can just click Claim. And then you get this stuff out of the chest if you're lucky like me. Actually, this might be not lucky at all. I honestly don't even know what you get out of these. Okay, so yeah, that's not the worst thing in the world I could have gotten. Primordium is good, I guess. So let me know down in the comments if you guys get Primordium. And if you get more than me, because apparently you can get 200. I don't know if that's even true or not, but apparently you can. Let me know if you guys are able to get 200, because I'm not sure if that's really even possible. But yeah, who knows? It might be. And then the next way to get some chests is going to be through the daily goals. Just go on in here, go to daily goals. And then if you complete all of the goals, you can get one chest to maybe get something good. Probably not though. Every single day. And then the next way is going to be through the breeding events. This is only the breeding events, not every single breeding. You just click on a breeding event right there. And then as you can see, there are a lot of golden monsters and then there are silver monsters. You will need to breed the golden ones. And then you want to click breed. And as you can see, if you get the monster, you cannot get any other monster from this breeding except for this one. If you get this one, then you'll get the chest. If you get another monster, you don't get anything. So make sure you do this as much as possible in order to hopefully get the golden monster. Because it is not a 100% chance. And it's actually pretty rare. So yeah, go ahead and try to get the mythics that have the golden border. The silver ones, as you can see right here. Okay, it's not showing it to me now, but they do not give the chest. So yeah, only the golden ones. And you will get those right when you finish breeding them once you click the little heart and they go into your hatchery. Then you will obtain the chest. The next way is through the main events, like the mazes, the races, stuff like that. So yeah, go ahead and do all of the main events. Currently, there is a race going on, but that will be ending very soon. So go ahead and do the next event. I believe it's a Tails Challenge. I could be wrong, and you can get some chests from that. So go ahead and complete that whenever it starts. And then the next way is through Monsterwood. That will be right here on mobile. Unfortunately, on PC, there is no Monsterwood because there are no ads. So I cannot see it personally, but on mobile, you will be able to see it right here in this exact precise coordinates. And you will be able to watch ads in order to get some chests. So yeah, go to these exact coordinates and watch some ads. And then the next way is through dungeons. Go on into play and then you want to go to... They changed this recently, so I haven't fully gotten used to it. But you want to go ahead and go to dungeons right here. They're all the way over on the right. And I believe it is Seasonal Dungeons, you just click on that, and as you can see right here, you can get some Black Friday chests, which is pretty great. So yeah, go ahead and complete this dungeon. You can complete it actually every week, so you can get 33 chests every single week, which is great out of this. The only problem is you can only use Feral Era Season 2 monsters, so only monsters from the current season. So keep that in mind when doing this challenge. And there's also a token dungeon right here if you want to get some tokens for the Tales challenge. That is always great to do. And it looks like a little turkey, which is kind of cool. And then if you go back into the chest shop right here, you can see there is a Black Friday chest here that you can exchange gems for. And it is grayed out right now. You cannot actually do it until the maze ends if you are able to complete 10 elapsed to get the marathon key. And then you can start exchanging gems for them if you want. You can do up to 40, which is 400 gems. So if you want to spend your gems on that, you can. I probably wouldn't spend 400 gems on that. Instead, you could spend it on the Tales Challenge and get the new monster. But that is always an option if you want chests out of that. If you're really into chests for some reason and don't want new monsters. But yeah, I'd probably stick to the free ones right here. But that's just me. And then the last and a final way is kind of funny. It's actually by getting chests, if that makes sense at all. It probably doesn't. So let me explain. So every time you open a chest, you get one of those tickets that I showed at the beginning of the video. And they're like the Black Friday tickets. And if you come on over here to the side of your screen right here and click on it, you actually see if you get 10 tickets, you get two chests. If you get 20 tickets, you get four chests. 30 tickets, six chests. And 40 tickets, 10. So you actually get chests for opening chests. So yeah, go ahead and try to get as many chests as possible so that you can proceed through this and open the chests and get even more chests. And then if you go on over to the rankings, if you complete enough chests, which actually it isn't that hard. I've opened, as you can see, I have one and I'm already in the top 150,000, which is actually 
quite high, it means I get 50. So yeah, if you open just like a few chests, you should be able to get better than me at least, and get like 100, 200, or 1000 of this sentium, which you can use to rank up the brand new monsters. So yeah, just open like one chest and you can get 50. That is great, or don't do it so that I can keep getting 50. But hopefully you're able to open up more than just one chest, and then you can get so much more Centium. And of course, as I already said, Centium is used to rank up new mythics, so it is always great to have. And that will be the main rank up resource throughout the entire Feral Era. Entire Feral Era, I don't know why I said entire. But yeah, as you know, the Feral Era did start recently, I believe, is it Season 1 right now? It might actually be Season 1. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, Season 2. So yeah, it's pretty early on into the era. So this resource will be very, very valuable for a, an extremely long time. Because you'll be able to use it to rank up every single Mythic throughout the entire Feral Era. Which will be like 10 seasons or so, I can't remember the exact number. But it is quite a few seasons, definitely much more than 2. So yeah, you'll need to rank up the best monsters in the game for a very long time. So definitely try to get as much Sentium as you can. You can also get it out of the chest actually, but it is quite rare. So yeah, don't bet on that. But yeah, if you go ahead and get as many chests as possible, open up as many as possible, get as many of these tickets as possible, you can actually go ahead and get quite a bit of Sentium. If you open up a ton, you can actually get 4,500 if you're number one. But I don't know if you're going to pass this guy. He has 328 opened. Or 328 tickets and that is quite a lot of tickets so yeah i wouldn't bet on that but you should at least be able to get the 51 to 5000 that's 100 that's still amazing that is almost one full rank up and if you can get top 50 you get 200 which is a full rank up so that is great so yeah just keep that in mind when collecting chests try to get as many as possible in order to get these tickets in order to get a ton of sentium to rank up new monsters so yeah go and do your daily missions every day go ahead and open a chest in here that is every hour actually that is great definitely open them every hour that is a bargain and then go ahead and go into the main events like the mazes races and stuff like that tales challenges and get some chests out of those do that dungeon every single week. Actually, you can get so many chests out of that. That is a lot of chests. 33 every week. That's great. So yeah, go and do that if you have Feral Era monsters. And yeah, go and do the breeding events as well. Breeding events are very easy. They just take quite a bit of luck. So yeah, go and do the breeding events. Activate your breeding temples so that they can go and breed even faster. That's what I want to do right here. So yeah, they'll breed even faster. And then you can go ahead and do it more times. And hopefully get a chest. And that would be incredible. So yeah, go and do that. Do all of these ways. And let me know down in the comments if you guys have any other ways to get free chests. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.